This learning video is for educational purposes and is strictly informational. If you have any questions, consult your physician or healthcare professional to determine if any specific suggestions, products, or medications are right for you. This short video highlights what you and your family and friends should know about your recuperation from urologic surgery. From prescriptions and pain management to diet and care for your incision, what's normal and when you should call the doctor. You will receive detailed written instructions from the doctor as you are discharged from the hospital. Please note that the discharge instructions include numbers for reaching your doctor and our team on the front page. Prescriptions. Once your care team assigns a discharge date, we will prepare your prescriptions. You can have your prescriptions filled at the pharmacy here at the hospital or at your regular drugstore. We'll order your prescriptions so that they are ready for when you are discharged. Pain management. Controlling your pain is critical to your recovery and your doctor may prescribe pain medication. However, before you take the prescription, we recommend you try acetaminophen or ibuprofen first. They provide excellent pain relief with minimal side effects. If you have problems with ulcers, then you should use acetaminophen. Follow all instructions for over-the-counter pain medication. Abdominal pain after your surgery is common. Your abdominal muscles may have been irritated during surgery. Plus, you might experience pain where your drainage tube was. Many people experience sensitivity around the incision for several weeks. This is normal and takes some time to heal. You can help by avoiding activities that aggravate the pain. Many patients also experience some swelling and discoloration of the genitals for a couple of weeks after surgery. Again, pain pills like ibuprofen and acetaminophen may be helpful. Travel. In general, you are safe to travel once you are discharged from the hospital. Be sure to get up and walk every hour, whether you're in a car, a train, or a plane, to keep the blood from pooling in your legs. Please check with your surgeon if you are traveling a long distance immediately after discharge. Diet. Your discharge instructions may include information on diet. We recommend you advance your diet slowly. Drink plenty of water and eat fruits and vegetables and food rich in fiber. All of this helps you avoid constipation. Constipation. Many patients experience constipation after surgery and it can take two to four weeks for your normal bowel function to return. Narcotic pain medications can also cause constipation. We recommend you stop using them as soon as you can. Adjusting your diet and eating fresh fruits and vegetables will help. You can also take an over-the-counter stool softener to prevent constipation. After surgery, having one soft bowel movement a day is a good goal. If you do become constipated, you may take mineral oil or milk of magnesia once a day. Drinking plenty of liquids also helps prevent constipation. Activity. Walking or ambulation is very helpful for your recovery. Walking promotes blood circulation. It's good for healing and helps prevent clots. People always ask if they can go up and down stairs. There is nothing wrong with stairs. We encourage you to walk and be as independent as possible. It takes about a month for your body to heal from surgery. You must not do any heavy lifting or vigorous exercise during this period. By heavy lifting, we mean anything over 10 pounds, just a little more than a gallon of milk. You should also not use exercise machines like treadmills or stair stepping equipment. After a month, you can build up slowly to your pre-surgery exercise routine. Do not drive if you have a catheter or are taking narcotic pain medication. Once your catheter is out and you're off narcotics, driving is fine. Incision care. Your incision may look like any one of these pictures depending upon your surgery. You could have surgical staples, steri strips, or surgical glue. The number one rule for incision care is to wash your hands properly before and after treating the incision. Check your discharge instructions concerning your incision. Surgical staples will be removed 7 to 14 days after surgery. If you had a drain during surgery, we will remove it before discharge in most cases. We cover the site of the drain with a small piece of gauze and tape. If the dressing is dry and intact, it is safe to remove it before showering. If your incision or drain site is leaking, cover it with dry gauze as needed. You may notice a hard area or lump at the top of the incision. This is where the suture was tied and it is normal. 
it will go away with time. You might also experience numbness around the incision. Most patients find that sensation around the incision returns over three to six months. Bathing. You can shower the day your drain is removed. The water from the shower will not harm your incision or the catheter if you have one in place. After showering, pat the incision dry, never rub it. Showers are okay, baths and swimming are not. Do not submerge your wound until you are told it's okay, typically three to four weeks after surgery. Blood clot risk. There is a risk of blood clots after urological surgery. This could start with clots in a vein in your leg known as deep vein thrombosis, or DVT. This typically presents with pain or swelling in one leg. The clots can also move to the lung, which is a life-threatening condition known as a pulmonary embolism. This can occur without the patient feeling any pain or swelling in the leg. The most common symptoms are chest pain, shortness of breath, suddenly feeling weak or faint, and or coughing up blood. If you experience pain in your calf or swelling in your ankle or leg, please call your surgeon's office immediately and go to an emergency room. With early diagnosis, treatment with anticoagulation is easy and effective. When to call the doctor's office. Our patient-centered care team remains available to you throughout this period. Keep your discharge papers handy and remember that phone numbers for your doctor and medical team are there on the front. Please don't hesitate to call with questions or concerns. Call the doctor's office if your catheter comes out unexpectedly. Your urine is cloudy and foul smelling. Your urine is newly dark or bright red. There is no urine output in your catheter bag for over six hours. You experience painful inability to urinate. You have a temperature over 101.5 degrees Fahrenheit. You have new or increasing pain. You experience chills. Your wound is red, tender, or draining pus. You are vomiting uncontrollably or are unable to keep food or water down. You have new shortness of breath or chest pain. You experience new pain or swelling in one or both legs. Please remember, we are here for you. We have made so many advances in surgery. Many of them pioneered here at Hopkins. And while it takes time, healing goes smoothly for most patients. Our patient-centered care team is dedicated to you and your recovery.